Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have something I'm really excited to share with you because it's more terrible Minecraft suggestions. This is something so many of you have been asking for since I made a video on it about 10 months ago now, and uh, yeah, I have some more terrible Minecraft suggestions because it does come from a subreddit called something I can't say Minecraft suggestions, and uh, because they only come in about one a day, it takes a while for them to build up. But what I have for you all today is the best, worst Minecraft suggestions from the past year, which is really cool because they always have a little bit of a glimmer of hope in them, and then sometimes they're a bit terrible. But yeah, terrible Minecraft suggestions. Hopefully you'll do enjoy this. If you do, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like this sort of content. And yeah, uh, the Terra Minecraft sessions in particular are one that I really, really like and hopefully you'll do too. But with that said, let's get into it, shall we? So let's start with the very best worst idea from the past year and it's one that the title alone <laughs> has already got me with. It's triple wielding for 1.9. So obviously because, you know, 1.9 has started coming out, information came out since the last video, it's one about 1.9 and they're taking a dig at the <laughs> they're taking a dig at the triple wielding. So they say, even even though Minecraft is very late into the dual wielding game, it's good that it's finally coming, but there's one thing that can make it even better. Triple wielding. It would make up for the wait for dual wielding. It'd also make combat much more fluent and hence deep, calling the next number. Uh, uh, basically, they say Minecraft sales will triple because it'll be the first game to introduce triple wielding. And you've got to admit, right now, everyone looks at dual wielding and they're like, yeah, other games have had this, you know. You, 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 lots of games that you use as two swords or a sword and something else. That's kind of lame. How about Minecraft? Free hands, and I mean, I mean, there's there's three buttons on. I'll show you. My, uh, yeah, there's three buttons on a mouse. Left, right, center. Boom. So you, what you do is you put a sword in your mouth, and you can use three swords at once. Perfect idea. I love it, and what what a great one. I can see why this is the best idea. This is this is a genuinely good idea. I don't know what's doing in the terror Minecraft suggestions. Uh, but yeah, next suggestion is dead bushes turn into undead bushes during the night time, and apparently uh, they do damage to you at that point because you know undead stuff does damage. Pretty pretty good suggestion. Dead bushes right now don't have a use, and you don't fear them at all. Yeah, that's the problem. When you go into a desert, you just kind of, you see them and you're like, oh, those are dead bushes. Maybe I'll pick them up one day. What it should be is those are dead bushes. I should fear those because at night they'll come and they'll kill me. And 99999 hearts per hit, apparently, that's a lot of damage to take. I don't want, I don't want undead bushes to hurt me. I'm going to shear them all right now. Perfect. I, I love your idea there. Um, and the next idea is actually making dogs sniff each other's butts. Uh, I, I guess that's just a simple like, aha, because in real life the dogs sniff the Oh wait, dogs don't behave like dogs in Minecraft, it ruins the immersion for me. And you gotta admit, you know, the thing about Minecraft is you get a whole room of dogs and they don't sniff each other's butts, which is just so unrealistic, that's not how it works in real life. Y you gotta admit it there. So, uh, next up <laughs> is iron boats that run over rails instead of water. And that's a really good idea. I've always thought boats should be iron, you know, it makes so much sense. And uh, currently rails serve no function. Oh, my suggestion is an iron boat crafted with the same recipe as a boat for with iron. <laughs> um, when a power rail is lit with redstone, it should become a powered power rail. When an iron boat runs over a power power rail, it should accelerate in the direction it's currently moving. That's pretty smart. you got to think you could get the, the power boat moving that way. Yeah, I really like this one. Pa iron boats that run on land, on rail in particular. I, I can't believe it. no one's ever thought of this before. I, I think we should get this straight to Mojang and send the wrong subreddit again. Because, again, boats right now, they break too easy. Make them out of iron, even better. Make them run on land, and now they're perfect. I, and, and the recipe could even be the same. Uh, uh, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Very, very nice, very nice. So anyway, with that said, let's move on to the next suggestion here, which is to remove lag in creative. Is that is there any more depth to that? It won't be OP. I get they add lag to the game to make it more challenging, but it serves no purpose in creative because you're supposed to be OP. Ah, uh, they're just they're just saying you should be able to turn off lag on servers. That's pretty smart, you know. Lag lag in survival servers. It's there to make the PvP more difficult. But lag lag in creative just doesn't make any sense. But have have very, very nice. Water should be removed from Minecraft. The Californians have had a drought, and when we drink water from water bottles, it makes them jealous. So Gil Bay. It literally says Gil Bates should remove water entirely so that everyone is equal and everything is happy. I, I don't think I can even sarcastically get on board with this one. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, there is in fact a drought. Let's 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 all be be in solidarity with the, with the Californians by removing it from all the games too. I recently played a cool game called Merrymaker. So why couldn't Minecraft take the same aspect from this game? You could make your own Minecraft worlds with blocks from dirt to diamond. That's great, Minecraft Maker is the suggestion, and it's like Mario Maker, but you get to make your own Minecraft world, sorry about that. Um, it's like, yeah, you get to make your own Minecraft worlds from scratch, so you can be like, okay, you know how right now you look in a world and there's dirt and then there's some wood? You can make your own house out of the... 
this this is this is good. I, I feel like this could go somewhere. <laughs> and you can share them online easily so the world you create in five seconds can be seen by everyone. Very, very good. Next up is Minecraft Text Edition. I play Minecraft on an old Linux box. It used to be great much faster than XP, but now it seems to lag all the times, so like 10 FPS max. So I would like the option to play from terminal, type only commands, uh, uh, text only command line interface. So, uh, for instance, you could do all the type, yeah, oh, that's nice. Uh, so you can type uh, dig block and then the coordinates of that block and it'll dig it with your hand. Yeah, this. This this is a really really good game. I I I think that's a great idea because you know text adventure adventure games they're always so exciting because there's just so much possibility. Now text adventure of Minecraft, it's it's such a solid idea. To to totally not the worst idea I've ever heard for Minecraft ever. I I think that one might be the worst because I mean they could actually do it. You can you can control Minecraft entirely of text and I think. I think it is just the worst thing in the world. So I think that gets like my recommendation so far for worst edition. But the next one here is actually when you travel to the end for the first time, Morgan Freeman should introduce the Ender Dragon to you. I'd like that actually. I'd like that quite a bit. Like, <laughs> like I, I mean, I'm uh, Morgan Freeman might be above like the pay scale of Minecraft, or is he? I, you know, I, I reckon Morgan Freeman would be down to do it. So he comes in and he's like, "Now you're in the end, and what you must do is slay the dragon. She has not done anything to you, except actually, you have to give her like a villain status. What she is doing is trying to destroy the world, and only you can stop her, dear hero. I don't know. If Morgan Freeman does that, you're gonna be pumped. Like, you see Morgan Freeman in even the worst movies, and you're like, "Yeah, I believe what he's saying." Like, um, so, I guess in Minecraft he could convince you to kill a dragon. Because I, f I feel like a bit of a monster now. Because, you, you know, she drops her egg and she's like a pregnant dragon. She's just flying around and you just... it's you, We're the worst people and I'd like Morgan Freeman to be on her side on that. Anyway, uh, let's move on from this to the next one. When a world is more than six months old, it gets archived and you can only play it in spectator mode. Because Minecraft world should be more like Reddit posts. I... I don't know if I can I can get too down with that, but I, w I would like a timed feature for World, which is actually it's a terrible idea because you might get attached. But I maybe it's just a fun idea to do for yourself. But just be like, okay, this for the month of May. I mean, it's a little bit late now, like we're halfway through it. But for the month of May, I am only gonna play on this World, and I'm gonna see what I can do by the end. That's like an idea, almost quite. No, that's terrible. Might be the worst one, in fact. I mean, <laughs> I, no, actually, you know, Minecraft Text Edition, still worse, still worse. So, next up is Make Minecraft Free. But if you want to want anything, it's zero, uh, zero dollars ninety nine cents to mine, build, and move a block each time. And walking is thirty nine dollar ninety nine. Aha! It's it's microtransaction Minecraft. I'm I'm so glad Minecraft doesn't have microtransactions because you could see how something like that would be effective. Like, okay, so you can play for free for the first ten thousand blocks you mine. And then after that, you just pay a dollar for every ten thousand. After that, and and at this point, I'd pro I think I think a lot of you, or at least myself, I'd be hundreds of dollars in. A lot of people would be hundreds of dollars in, and uh, I I mean it's a terrible idea, but it's a really good business idea. So I'll, I'll give them I'll give them like good idea for like they'd make a lot of money. I I I just hate myself and Minecraft and everything like that. Anyway, with that said, let's move on to the next one, uh, which is bones are edible at night. Eating one would flip you upside down. Ah, because dinner dinner bone because that. Because the the bones 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 are in dinner bones name and dinner bones are upside down. So if you eat the bones at night, they would be dinner bones. And that I, I mean, there's, there's almost an idea there. It's it's almost clever, almost. Next up on the on the list here is remove players. We're, we're coming very close to the, end of the list, by the way. Uh, players are known for their brutality in the Minecraft world. For example, they kill players and eat their drops. So I, I propose to remove players once and for all, no longer to harass mods, sponsored by Peter. <laughs> I like this idea. I, I would like to see... Actually, I, I wouldn't. I was going to say, I'd love to see what happens if you had a Minecraft world about players. Then there is, that'd just be a Minecraft world with... I mean, if you're doing nothing. Like, it's not like other games where I feel like stuff would actually happen without the players. Or, you know, what I, what I like to see is, like, NPC-controlled players and then for them to not be monsters, to encourage you to be better. Because you've got to admit, we just when you when you start a Minecraft world, it's all peaceful, everything's harmonized, you just go around killing stuff to, to survive, and you know you, you tear up the environment, there's a nice perfect beach, you ruin that to put your nice uh, beach house there, and yeah, I, I think removing players would be the best uh, environmentally friendly option, so remove players, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll take it. So, next up is snowballs in your inventory melt when you enter the nether. Snowballs can be used to damage nether mobs to balance it out. Make the snowballs disappear when you enter the nether. <laughs> I mean, it makes... The, the weird thing about this, though, is that this actually makes sense, because the nether is super hot and you can't place even water there because it evaporates instantly. In theory, when you throw a snowball, it should evaporate before it hits its target. Or, better yet, it evaporates when you go there. Terrible idea... And, but it, it is logical, and it does fit the overarching logic. So, you know, 
I think this one gets a good idea pass too. Wait, it gets a bad good idea, because I hate it. But I mean, it's pretty good, so... Uh, next up is Ad Arthritis. So, we all know Steve's hand has to be hurting like hell from all the tree punching he's... <laughs> That's a good one. But have you ever punched a tree, by the way? I was, I was doing it, like, to, like, I think I was doing it, like, for some form of video, like, a while ago, and never came anywhere, because punching trees really, really hurts. As it turns out, you punch the tree really hard, you break your hand, not the tree. And it's true, when Steve does all of that, uh, you should get an arthritis meter, which is above your health, and uh, when the player starts a new world, it's set to zero, and everything that you punch will slowly add to that. And falling damage also adds to your arthritis points, as well as breaking blocks with your hands. You know what? I, f I think it, and, and then <laughs> when you get a thousand arthritis points, your character will start moaning agony and complain about his or her pain, and you have to go to therapy every fine Minecraft player day. So I think, I think a little bit serious the way you call an arthritis there, but the idea is solid, right? Like, you should only be able to punch, so like, okay, so you know when you have a blank slot on the hotbar, it should have, like, a durability bar, because your hand can only last so long, like, punch, 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 ah, and then, then you got to use a shovel, like, you got to, like, slowly lift it, because I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, again, I'm, uh, yeah, solid idea, best, best, worst idea idea because it's so good it, this this would be a cool mod i would download that thousand mod and that that counts for something anyway uh we've got the last few ones here so getting blown up by a creeper in game should call a suicide bomber at your location irl think that every, people have been complaining about minecraft getting too boring or easy if this was a thing everyone would look after creepers every time um you got a good point yeah you'd, you'd be so terrified to go you know okay, okay imagine this yeah you're, you're in your minecraft world you built a, a lovely house you're a little terrified of creepers but in reality you've got the blocks to replace it oh now now you get blown up in real life when the creeper comes you're gonna be so terrified it's gonna be like uhc but like to the next level so th I, I think this was an idea before actually like ultra ultra hardcore where you die in real life but this one's better because it's like you know suicide bombers are even worse than death right maybe I, I, I think so. Like, cause it's not only if, if if I got blown up right now, it doesn't it doesn't only suck because I'm I'm not gonna be here and you, but, but it actually make an interesting video. Actually, would it would the video still survive? I, if, if I blowed up right here, it'd make a pretty interesting video. But everything around me, I kind of like this stuff. There's a reason I'm surrounded by it. There's a, there's a Pikachu back there that uh I'd, I'd rather not die. So yeah, good. Uh, Good idea. Really, really good. To totally think that should be a part of the game. I think Mo Yang are, are hearing this and they're like, oh, what a good idea. Let's welcome that right now. But <laughs> let's move on to the next one, shall we? Uh, so yeah, last two ones here. Uh, you should be able to put any item in a jukebox. I'm I'm upset that <laughs> I took uh, sense of that one for them. I'm upset that Minecraft hasn't done this yet. Uh, every item should have its own song. For instance, when you put a pickaxe in the jukebox, you should hear a song called Pickaxe. If you put a potion of night vision, you should hear a song called Potion of Night Vision. If you put a diamond, you should hear Lucky L Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds from the Beatles. <laughs> uh, Mo Yang, please. So just quickly, I like this idea a lot. I think you'd have to do it procedurally because there's 500 items in Minecraft. I think uh, 250 blocks, 250 items, but. Wouldn't it be, like, right now there's 13 music discs, and they're, some of them are weird, some of them look pretty good, but imagine if every item had some form of, like, procedurally generated song. So, imagine a potion of weakness is, like, cat, but slightly phase shifted, or, like, you know, they, they, an octave down, or, I, I don't even know what music words mean, but uh, imagine you could have, like, every item being a unique music, and then you could be like, oh, my favourite song? is gold nugget and i'd be like no it's it's cobwebs darn you how do you not know that and i don't know i i feel like it'd be cool and i like that i think this would be a genuine minecraft suggestion as uh, maybe minus the lucy in the sky of the diamonds from the beatles <laughs> so yeah I, that, let's move on to the final one here uh we've been doing a lot of these right now but the final one here or at least on the final of the 20 or so i've gone through today is actually uh the coolest idea ever please read and please add Yang. that's the title the text is the Ender Dragon should turn into a girlfriend when you kill it because I'm lonely. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I, I feel this guy. I feel this guy. You know, you, you gotta think. Like, you go through all that effort. You've been playing Minecraft for hours. You should get a girlfriend. Oh, so 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So, yeah, Minecraft girlfriends killing the End Dragon. That That's that's clearly the very best idea ever. Uh, I You know, these, these might all come from the wrong server. I think I might be on the good Minecraft sessions. But in all seriousness, yeah, I hope you did all enjoy today's video. If you liked it, like it and let me know. Uh, I think these are fun videos to go over. I kind of want to do another Terra Minecraft builds at some point because it's been close to a year since that too. Let me know if you want to see that with the comments. And in the comments, please do leave your own suggestions as to either good Minecraft sessions or bad ones. Don't let me know what it is. I know most of them will be bad, but I'd love to hear them because I'd love to go through the best and worst Minecraft sessions from all of you. So do that with, with the things down. Well, it's down there for mobile and the current PC design, but wherever comments are. And remember to like it too because, you know, that's how I feed my wife and kids. And 
maybe share it and subscribe and other words. You, you can do those there. I mean, the, it's not anywhere in the shot, but it's like what to one of these calls. Wait, wait, wait. I'll go into the comments and I'll meet you there. Thank you all very much for watching and goodbye. Oh, I, can't, I can't turn off the video from now. Yeah.